So rents are increasing, okay, uh, because of an influx of a new category of buyers uh, due to the cooling measures, right? Now that, you know, the shock has uh, passed, right? The shock has subdued, the dust has settled. Uh, what I thought you guys may want to hear uh, would be its effects on the market and why I think prices will drop. Now, not drop in the way, but not drop in a way that, you know, uh, a lot of you uh, may expect. Uh, so what do I mean by that, right? We're going to dive into that uh, later on. Uh, but sensing, having a sense of what's uh, uh, happening in the market post-cooling measures, right? I think these two particular articles from the Straits Times uh, dated uh, just October uh, last week uh, gives a pretty good uh, 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 write up gives a pretty good sense of you know uh, what's the thoughts uh, uh, you know how are people reacting to all these uh, cooling measures be buyers and uh, sellers hello sorry to interrupt we'd like to take the opportunity to thank you for watching the video and also to share why we do what we do is to empower consumers with hard facts and figures, quality research and real-life examples to allow them to make the most informed property decisions. So if you found our videos useful, the only thing we ask for is for you to smash that like and subscribe button so that the YouTube algorithm can push out our videos to more consumers. Thank you and back to the video. So the, 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 uh, the TLDR of the two articles, right? So I've done it for you so that you don't have to do it. Uh, so for the first article, the titled Rental Market Gone uh, uh, Bananas uh, with Search in Demand. Uh, what did they talk about in that particular article? Uh, so rents are increasing, okay? Uh, because of an influx of a new category of buyers uh, due to the cooling measures, right, which is the downgraders because they, they, they can't buy a HDB now. Uh, they have to serve out a 15 months uh, wait out period. An extremely awkward um, uh, 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 number to work with, uh, not 12, not 24, so 15. Uh, so you go to the landlords, uh, the, uh, so nowadays, landlords, uh, sometimes they will see a oh, 15 months wait up period. But then again, 15 months, then you can offer uh, for a unit. You can put in an option for a unit, then another three to four months. So all in all, I think the upgrade, the downgraders will have to fork out 24 months worth of rental. Uh, you probably have to sign a, a at minimally 18 months lease. If not, factoring in some reno, it's, it's definitely going to hit uh, 24. Uh, so that's a new new influx of demand into the rental uh, market already being sort of uh, 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 having a lot of demand from returning Singaporeans as was highlighted in the article there's also a big chunk of expats coming in uh, uh, and we ourselves uh, we do sense that right uh, agents on the market uh, particularly in areas like District 10 uh, uh, and whatnot. And it seems like, you know, having spoken to some of the, the even the, the HR uh, managers, right? The, the, the general sense, especially in terms of re, uh, either returning Singaporeans or, or expats, is that uh, they are making themselves scared because uh, uh, when they land, they talk to their friends and all their friends start to say, oh my god, the market is very crazy right now, you better hurry up, secure one, if not, you will not be able to secure. I mean, that is part and parcel of the whole uh, uh, FOMO mindset and when, when prices start to go up, right, because people scared they miss the ball and every time you wait, the next thing comes up, it's more expensive. Again, something that has been highlighted in the article. The, the crazy thing that was said in the article is um, uh, uh, part, as part of the offer, right, as part of the uh, a means of tenants trying to, to secure the deal, right, they offer to put in new aircons for landlords. Eh? Uh, uh, I mean, that's nuts. I've never heard of that before. I mean, unless you're signing a good five-year lease. Uh, and so we are cutting off from uh, Instagram. So for those of you who are in Instagram, uh, do join us over at uh, YouTube and Facebook lah, because uh, over there then we are able to share a few of the slides. Alright, so see you later folks on Instagram. Alright, back to the topic. So the rental market demand already very, very strong, right? Uh, uh, so now with an influx of a new group of demand that is pushing prices up even higher, okay? 
Uh, another part of the article, they are talking about how some of the experts uh, don't think the prices will drop so quickly because there's a data lag uh, associated with real estate data, right? Yeah, because all the times when we see property price index, uh, when they say the third quarter property price index, for example, uh, is tracking uh, uh, the past three months data. La. So by the time you see it, it's, it's, it's like three months late already. Okay, so... Uh, uh, even with you know, if even if the market were to slow down like today, today you're only gonna see the data backing that up three months later, right? So that's another thing that they were talking about in the article. Uh, uh, and then the, the second half of the article, uh, you read like never read like that lah, because it's basically experts uh, they interview all the experts and the experts say oh, we don't know, right? It's like unsure if the measures will bring down prices, unsure if uh, the market is in a bubble, right? Uh, I mean. I don't know lah. I, I read already ah. Then it's like they interviewing the professors and whatnot. Then this kind of answer you interview professor to give you a non answer. But don't worry, I will give you <laughs> an answer later on. So like I said, I do expect uh, prices uh, to drop. Uh, but in only in a certain segment and probably not in a way that you would have expect. Okay. Uh, of course, some of them is suggesting increasing BTO supply to bring down uh, resale prices. Like quite common sense, okay? Uh, the other article, the one titled uh, Not an Ideal Situation, right? With young couples delaying housing plans. Uh, I feel that's uh, probably a better article uh, if you want to have a sense of like what, what different segments are feeling uh, within the market, right? Uh, quite a short article but covering uh, first-time buyers, sellers, condo upgraders, HDB upgraders, the different sensing over there. So quite a good article right uh, but the general sense you get from the article is that plans are being uh, put on hold uh, due to all these changes um, and I, I, I sort of think that uh, uh, the, the, the government putting in the fact that it is temporary uh, is, is causing this this whole uh, uh, wait and see approach to the entire market because there's a general sense that uh, uh, the people being interviewed in the article is what they are saying, right? Um, another part of what they are saying is that the sellers are still refusing to budge uh, uh, and this is expected, like, especially just one month into the whole thing uh, uh, because most of the sellers in the market are selling their one and only property, uh, number one. Okay, uh, so it's perfectly normal to feel greedy. And it's also perfectly normal uh, to have um, sort of, uh, how do you call that? Uh, wish, I don't, let's not call it wishful thing. I think that's maybe, maybe a bit too strong uh, to call it. Uh, more so, uh, I think they, 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 they don't feel it yet that demand is dropping. Uh, on, the, on the ground, what we are feeling is certain listings are starting to see a drop in, in inquiries, uh, but that's still going to take uh, uh, time lah, right? For, for sellers to sort of realise that, you know what, the demand is in fact coming down. If we do want to move forward, uh, we probably got to adjust our pricing. Now, but, in, but because of that as well, right? Uh, they also highlighted another two, uh, two parts lah, to it, right? Sellers preferring to put their plans on hold rather than reduce price. And uh, this is something that uh, we do see as well uh, because uh, a lot of the measures instituted this time around is targeting HDB prices, right? Uh, that one I think most of us know uh, because of the rate of increase uh, in HDB uh, starting to um, defy fundamentals, right? So that's why the government had to step in. It's also making a lot, creating a lot of unhappiness in the market because they are still struggling to bring down the wait times for uh, HDB BTOs, right? Forcing all the demand into the HDB resale market. So they have to do something uh, uh, about it. Uh, but what isn't really coming down is uh, the, the prices of the private uh, side, la, at least not yet, right? Uh, the most immediate impact you're going to feel is, of course, with HDB. So now, imagine you are a HDB upgrader, yeah? Uh, uh, yes, you know, the word on the street is demand is dropping. If you're selling, you notice, oh, my viewings last week, five viewings now dropped down to two viewings. But the fact is that, right? The, the unit you want to buy from private, be it a new development or a resale property, that price never move. Uh, so if now your offer used to be 750k drop to 700k, right? And, and that's, let's say lah, that really is impacting your, your uh, taking 50k out of your purchasing power, right? If you're already stretching to have to reach that 
that that that property of yours in the upgrade. Uh, in all likelihood, uh, uh, a lot of people will put on hold. Why? Because the government won't put the word temporary on this whole cooling measure. <laughs> so everybody uh, uh, is, is instead choosing to put their plans on hold. So un until, right, until the government sort of comes in and starts to say like, you know what, this is either going to be permanent or we take off. Uh, uh, I think the market is going to be in this state of uh, 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 wait and see uh, kind of mood, lah, right, generally. Uh, the last point is, right, uh, for, and this one was about the private upgrader la, or down, the guy is looking at bigger space so he was either thinking about upgrading to another private property or uh, right sizing over to, or, or selling the private and buying a big HEB now with that being uh, uh, out of the option have, uh, they also don't want to go and rent I mean if you are uh, 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 somebody looking to take action you read this article uh, previously, you were thinking about maybe I can go and rent. And you read the article saying now people have to to help landlord install aircon. You go be like, ah, forget it lah. Then I don't want to 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 do that. Let's just wait and see, right? Because government say temporary. Okay. So now this is the two uh, summary of the of the two articles, right?